Hello everybody, welcome back, and today we're looking at vectors. I'm going to introduce you to the basics behind vectors and what they're about. So vectors are, in maths, like an arrow. It tells you a distance and it also tells you a direction. So here we have the vector d to e, and we call that a vector a. So we can write it like this, d to e uh, goes from the point d to the point e, and it's got an arrow above it to show that it's a vector. And then we can also give it a name, we can call it a vector a, and we do put that in bold uh, because it's a vector. We write vectors in bold, or sometimes we underline them. We can also say that it goes across 3 and up 4, and so we can write it as a column vector like this, 3 across, 4 up. The top number tells you how far across you go, and the bottom number tells you how far up and down you go. So we can write it as d to e with an arrow above, tells you it's going between those two points. We can write it as an actual letter, but we can either write, we write it as bold or underlined to make it clear that it's a vector, or we can write it as a column vector to tell you the uh, direction across and the direction up. Now we've got another vector, e to f, is called b, and that goes uh, 2 across, minus 2 down, 2 across, minus 2 down. Okay. Now, what happens if you wanted to go from D to F? D to F uh, would be going up A and then down B. And so we can write D to F in terms of A and B by writing A plus B. Because to get to F, you go up A and then you go across B. A plus B. We can also write it as a column vector, where we substitute in A is 3, 4, and B is 2 minus 2, like this. 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus minus 2 is 2, the vector d to f is 5 across, 2 up, 5 across, 2 up, like this. Okay, that's the basics of vectors. Now, uh, what we can also think about is going backwards on vectors. So if instead of going from d to e, we want to go from e to d, we go backwards. And to make sure we go backwards, we make it negative. So instead of doing uh, a, we're doing minus a. Instead of doing 3, 4, we're doing minus 3, minus 4. Same from e to f, we do f to e is minus b. And from uh, d to f, well, with your f to d, will be negative and negative. Make everything negative. Okay? Now, uh, just remember that to go backwards with vectors, we want to make them negative. Let's look at an example of vector arithmetic. So the first, uh, we look at the vectors a, which is 2, 5, b, minus 3, 1, and c, 2, minus 3. We're going to express the vector 3a minus b as a column vector. So 3a minus b, and we substitute in a, we substitute in b, like this. 3 times 2, 5 is 6, 15. And now we subtract them. So 6 minus minus 3, that's a double negative, that makes it positive. 6 minus minus 3 is 9. 15 minus 1 is 14. Okay, so just be careful of your double negatives there. Okay, and that's the final answer. Now we're uh, looking at the point G, and it's got the corner 8 minus 5. We want to find the corner of I. Now this is totally fine, we're just thinking of the... Um, uh, paper we're looking at as a coordinate axis, an x and y axis, and so we're going to, from g to i, that is the vector from g to i, is g to h, and then from h to i. So g to i is g to h, and then h to i. Okay, which is a plus b, the vector a, and then the vector b. We substitute in uh, those column vectors, 2, 5, plus, minus 3, 1, which we simplify, 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1, and then uh, 5 plus 1 is 6. So to go from g to i, you go minus 1 across, 6 up. Now, the coordinate of g is 8 minus 5. So, to go to i, we go minus 1 across, and 6 up. The x coordinate is 8, so we go uh, 8 minus 1 will be 7, the y coordinate is minus 5, I'm going to go up 6, minus 5 plus 6 is 1. So the coordinate is 7, 1. Okay? So now you know how to use 
uh, co uh, coordinates with vectors. Okay. Now the final example I'm going to show you is how to work out the size of a vector. So here we've got the vector 3, 4. 3 across, 4 up. And we can draw this as a triangle. 3 across, 4 up. And to work out the size of C, well, that's just Pythagoras' theorem, because it's a right angle triangle. We're substituting 3 and we're substituting 4. And 3 squared is 9, plus 4 squared is 16. Uh, and we square root it. The square root of that will give us our answer, and it's square root of 25, which is 5. And so the answer is C, the size of C is 5. Okay? Sometimes you might get a decimal, that's okay. Uh, in fact, quite often you would get a decimal with these. This is just a nice example where you get a whole number. So now you also know how to work out the size of a vector. I've got some practice questions for you to try here. Uh, if you're not ready, that's okay. Just re-watch the video from the start um, before we continue. Okay. So it's asking, express the vector z to x in terms of a and b, and notice that going from z to x is going backwards um, from x to z, so you will be going backwards. And then you're going to express it as a color vector. Again, you are going in the opposite direction of a and the opposite direction of b, so it will become negative. What are the coordinates of y and z? So we know the coordinate of x, and from x we can go to y by the vector a, and then from y to b, we can go up the vector b to find the coordinate of z. Express minus 2 plus 5b, minus 2a plus 5b as a column vector. Again, uh, just do vector uh, algebra with that. And then what is the magnitude of b? So that's Pythagoras' theorem. So I think you can pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, uh, so if you're ready, I will reveal your answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, here we are, uh, we have the answers in green. Take time, just check you've done that correctly, and if you haven't, I want you to uh, re-watch the video and check uh, where you've lost your marks on these questions. Okay, I hope you found that video useful on vectors. If you would like a video explaining more about vectors and how you do grade uh, 7 to 9 questions with vectors, please let me know in the comments and I will make that for you. If you have any, any other ideas for future videos, please let me know. Uh, but that's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.